Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Pewter Valley Estates. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link, right there is my QR code. You could scan it with your phone and it will take you directly to my free mobile app. You will receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, right here. Sorry, I can't back up anymore. The gate is right behind me. But this is the Sarah. This one right here is 2,150 square feet. It is a three to four bed. This one is two bath. And this one right here right now currently starts at $594,950. I do like the single stories. Now with this one again, HOA, it's a little weird on this one. Most of the HOAs are gonna be $67. There are a few homes that are gonna be $49 but just keep those things in mind. Now, on average, most people are putting in about 15% of the base price. So you're looking at about 90-ish thousand dollars. Love this entry. Now again, if you are enjoying these tours, make sure to hit the like button. It really, really helps the channel out. Also, if you wanna stay up to date, make sure to subscribe. I know I've been gone for a little while. I am back and I am going to try to put new videos out every single day again. Ooh, I love this. But before we go all the way back, keep in mind, a lot of this is options and upgrades. Normally it's gonna be carpet throughout, but just keep those little details in mind. Also, again, if you want to see new homes, you are considering purchasing a new home, call me first. Before you call the builder, before you fill out information online, give me a call because the agents at the sales office don't actually work for you, they work for the builder. So if you want representation, Give me a call and again fun fact as the buyer you don't pay the realtor commission the builder does so again another reason to give me a call to have me work for you so really nice size room full size bed two nightstands again lots of options they did all of the can lighting normally you are just going to get a pre-wire cap right there so you will be able to turn on and off the fan light and normally there is an outlet you can see there's four ones for the fan and everything but you will be able to have a third one for your half hot, which is usually the upside down receptacle. It's a big room. I love the high ceilings. It draws your attention up, makes the room feel bigger. I have filmed these in the past. My only odd thing I guess I would say about this one is I find it a little unusual that your ethernet and your cable connection is on that wall because It'd be different. It would be, I guess for a desk, that would make sense. But for a TV or anything, it'd be a little odd, but where would you put the TV in this room? Because of course that door is going to open in. Hmm. Upgraded uh, shelving. Normally you're just going to get a single bar and shelf. Again, usually it's going to sit right about here. So you can move it up and get a double bar and shelf. If you so choose that could literally double your closet space. But all in all, I do like the size of this first bedroom. Before we head into the second bedroom, right here we have our first bathroom. And again, everything in here has been optioned up. If the average person is putting 90, figure this one probably has $200,000 in it. In options, upgrades, all the goodies. Nice. Ooh, I do like this stone. So we have an undermounted sink, very nice fixture. Let's see, do we have. Not in here, just the bumper clothes, but they are pretty nice. They're not slamming. It's a good size vanity for a shared bathroom because there is plenty of counter space. We have our toilet and you can even see how wide this bathroom is because it does bump out maybe six or seven inches right there. So it is a nice size secondary bath. Normally you're gonna get a fiberglass composite tub. You can upgrade to a fiberglass composite shower. Now they went all out in this and they did tile. So there's your shower head. There is your valve. I know if you are an old time follower, mm, I do like my soap niche. I'm actually, I just had a flood. Part of the reason why I've been gone in my place and yeah, but we're redoing the entire bathroom. I can't wait. I might even show it on camera. We'll see. It's been a process. We have our towel rack and again, nice, really tall ceilings. Again, normally what you're gonna get is you're gonna get white paint everywhere. So if you want this two-tone paint, they do have options. You wanna paint it yourself. 
it's probably the better way to go unless you don't want to deal with it but it will be more cost affordable second bedroom i forgot how much i like this model with how big these rooms are they're large full-size bed those are some cool nightstands with the shelving and everything we have our fan again normally pre-wire cap and they did the optional lighting package so there are four can lights People always ask me, where should I spend the money? And I always tell them structural options. If you're gonna want the bigger um, slider outside, do that. If you're gonna want the can lighting, some builders don't even offer it. I would always go for the can lighting because it's such a pain to put it in later. So do those things that are harder to change later on. You can always repaint. You can always change cabinet color by painting. You can always change the flooring. You can get carpet everywhere and rip it out and put it in. And it probably will even be cheaper than doing it through the builder. So do those structural items. Same exact closet as the first one. And again, it's so funny. I don't know. Am I being weird? Or do you think that's odd that the Ethernet and cable is kind of over there tucked on that side? I do like the fact that they give you a hard line right there. But I just find it a little odd. I do appreciate, again, right here is the front door swing around just so you can see how big this entry is and with the 10 foot ceilings this single story feels so much bigger before we head on back right here we have our coat closet now there will be a bar here they probably had to steal it for another home and this is your smart center now all of your connections all your wires right here this is where you put your modem and this is where all those wires will drop into those other rooms for that hard lining so if we spin directly around really quickly they always keep these locked here is the garage two car garage unfortunately they always use them as storage so i can't get in them right here we have our next bathroom is it a full bath hmm. no so I don't know if this one can be a full three bath. It doesn't, <laughs> no. So right here we have our vanity, same exact thing as before. I do like the stone. Same cabinets. I know <laughs> whenever I film, yeah, I can already see. It's a neat wallpaper, but it never comes out good on camera. It's neat, it's different. A lot of the builders use wallpaper and when I back up, it looks kind of odd, but it's very um, minty fresh in here. We have our toilet and it is a nice size powder room. We back on out. I love the colors in here. Right here, this would be the optional fourth bedroom. Now, obviously they did it as a three bedroom, not the fourth. You can option it either way. We have our desk, we have our chair. This would be another si nice size bedroom. Again, they opted up to do the can lighting. All four plus that center cap. All of these bedrooms so far have been rather large. We back on over just so you can see everything. And no, that's not a real Mac. It's funny, I've seen people come in. Oh my gosh, they would leave a real computer out. No, no, no. But again, big room all three of these so far have been really nice size now there are two collections in here there is a two-story and a single story they are a little bit different but ooh, this is pretty again keep in mind all options upgrades before we see the kitchen let's go into the bath or the master bath and again if you have any questions whatsoever all my contact info is down in the description below we'd love to help you out in any way possible and again do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps the channel grow, helps it out. We have our laundry room. Now, normally in here, you will get hard surface only in the wet areas. So the wet areas are kitchen, laundry, entry, bathroom, everywhere else. So right here, all of this will be carpet. So we have our washer dryer. Normally you are only gonna get a shelf. So they optioned up and put the uppers up here. They're nice, same thing as in the bathroom. Normally whatever you pick in the house, as far as kitchen, that will go everywhere. That will go in the bathrooms. If you opt up in the laundry room, that will go there as well. And we even have a nice, really nice linen closet. It's big. We spin directly across. We head straight in to the master suite. So again, ooh, they even did six. They even added, I don't know if you can see right there, they added speakers in here. 
there's a lot of options going on, but big, big bedroom. Jeez, <laughs> it's, it's large. I've seen living rooms this side. King size bed, two massive, I'm gonna call them desks, not even nightstands. We even have a sitting area. It's a large, large bedroom. Love the big window, love the covered area. Ooh, the bathroom is very nice. Let me spin on over here just so you can see the entire room. I always find it funny. Let me know down in the comments, would you put a TV in the bedroom? I've heard such mixed reviews. Some people like the TV in the bedroom, some people don't. I couldn't live without a TV in my bedroom. That's what I fall asleep to. But leave a comment down below. Do you like the mirror? Would you rather have a TV? I understand how people want to wind down in here. I think it needs like a coffee table or something because this room is so, so big. Coming in to our master, ooh, the closet. I'll get there in a minute. But again, lots of options, lots of upgrades. I believe standard is a linen and then a uh, tub shower combo. You could do this where you have the massive tub, you have the separate shower, or you can do the mega car wash shower where you'd have the toweling off area and you'd have a shower only. They do have a lot of options. You can pick whatever sort of stone you want when you go to the design center. I'll come back and show you that in a second. Right here we have our toilet area. And one of my biggest complaints always is how close the toilet is when you open the door. Not the case here. There is plenty of room. It's actually a big water closet. We spin just a bit more. We get to our vanities. Same cabinet, same stone, same everything, but it is nicely done. I'm gonna spin back around so you can see how big this tub is. It's huge. The only thing I will say, and I know I've said it before, that is another model. We do have a Vegas window, a Vegas window. So there is a little bit of a peekaboo <laughs> right there. Um, definitely gonna want either like contact paper or that tint or some sort of window treatments. Again, it is Vegas. Some people do like to put on shows, but mm, <laughs> nice, nice shower. You even have your little ledge. I would like to see my soap niche, but I love the herringbone look of this and they tiled all the way up. Now again, you can go almost as crazy as you want. If you wanna go higher up with the tile, you can. They do have a lot of options available and this is 100% option up. This home probably again has at least $200,000 and again, including the backyard, when you buy new, you're only gonna get dirt. So normally you're gonna get like a single barn shelf, maybe double barn shelf, but I love the organization. Double bar, double bar, even cubbies. You have the shoe racks, display area. You have the area for your watches, ties, jewelry, all of that. Nice size closet. Whenever you put all of this in, it does make the closet feel a little bit smaller, but it's big. Coming on out and back around. Let's go check out that kitchen and living dining. Again, if you have any questions, give me a call, all my info down below. And if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It's big, it's nice, it's very open. And again, the 10 foot ceilings make it even bigger. Lots of extra can lighting. Normally you'll get lighting in the kitchen. So these are extras. You get those two right there above the dining area and you'll get the ones in the kitchen. The pendant lights are not included. Those are an option. They only did two, which is a little strange. They even left one uncapped. Let's start off. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go this way because the pantry's over there too. Let's see if we can sneak outside. So I know they've been changing up things. I don't know if the covered patio comes with. I know these sliders are the upgraded sliders, but the patio covering is really nice. Let me see. That is an available option. So this patio covering runs the entire length of the structure. Be nice for outdoor, especially right now, almost April, we're at the last day of March. This is a good size lot. Again, lots have gone up, or the backyards as far as um, building them and uh, completing them. They've gone up quite a bit. It used to be 15 grand would get you a nice backyard. Now this isn't crazy. This is probably 20-ish, 25 now. It's just the prices of everything have gone up so significantly. If you wanna put a pool in a backyard, this you could put a pool. 
Keep that in mind though, when you get new, it is dirt. So a pool, spa, heater, all of that good stuff is gonna probably be about 40 to 50 grand before you even add landscaping, all of that good stuff. So easily could get into the 60 to $70,000 range if you add a pool. Nice, just living space. It's completely open. You can see all the way to the front door. I'm gonna come on over here just so you can see everything. Again, they put the ceiling uh, speakers in. Not a lot of people choose those, but it is a nice option to have. It's open, it's very open. And we spin a little bit more. You could have a way bigger dining area. So little six person dining table. Again, this is only a three bedroom. You could option it as four if you choose. Now, normally the kitchen will end here. All of this is extra. They do have a lot of options and I am in love, love this kitchen. So we have our island, we do have our overhang. And four bar stools would be rather tight, I'll be honest with you. They even have some pendant lighting. Again, everything you see in this home is gonna be an option pretty much. We have our fridge, the double oven is gonna be an option normally. It will be all one range. Let's just see how tight this area is. It's not bad. Sometimes they put the island so close to the actual countertop where you can barely walk through. We have our undermounted sink. They do have different sinks available. Here's your view. You can see all the way across. It's funny, the TV seems almost too small for this wall with how big this house is, or at least how open this house is. It feels way, way bigger than almost 2,200 square feet. They opted for the double oven. I know a lot of people do like that. Would you rather have the double oven or the counter space? I guess with this one, with how much counter space there is, I almost would opt for it. But again, it will end right there. All of that extra buffet area is an option. Let's just check some of these. They it looks like they even added the Lazy Susan. Oh, no, they have nice corner cabinet. Let's see about just the standard sliders. Again, bumpers all around. They added the backsplash normally. Whatever countertop you get, they're gonna do four inches of countertop. They did the 40 inch uppers. Again, these ceilings are 10 feet. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our microwave. It's a big microwave. I always like to check. It does vent outside. All in all, it's pretty nice. Again, if you're interested in this community, give me a call before you go online or speak with the builder. Definitely would love to help you out. Again, the builder, the sales agents do not represent you. So if you want representation, give me a call. I get all my info down in the description and the pinned comment down below. All in all, very, very nice home. Oh, I just realized I totally forgot and missed the pantry. So right here we have our pantry. It's big, I'm guessing the door opens in. Usually on these size homes, you get a little coat closet. So this is a really, really nice surprise how big the pantry is. All in all, I, I like it. I really, really like this home. Again, let me know what you guys have to say. I know sometimes people don't like the grays, some people like the browns. Is this your style of home? Leave a comment down below. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my info down in the description and the pinned comment. Love to hear from you. Love to help you out in any way possible. So again, give me a call. Again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really does help the channel out. If you could make sure to subscribe because I am trying to put new tours out every single day again. Back. Mm, it is nice. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.